here at the Royal Sussex County Hospital in the Digestive Diseases Ward. As you may know, MRSA rates in this trust are one of the highest in the country, and doctors here are working tirelessly to try to minimise the effect of this deadly condition. Sarah here is a typical dying patient on the ward. So Sarah, do you think you could tell us a bit about your reaction to this strategy? Well, when I first got here, I thought it was a little bit odd. But now I'm starting to see that it's quite good and it's a little bit safer and I feel more relaxed. Great. So, Dr Haddad and Dr Jackson are two of the doctors implementing this radical new approach. Maybe we can talk to them a bit now. Hi there. Hi. Hi, thank you for talking to me. So, could you tell us a bit about the theory behind this mm. idea? Mm. Well, as you know, uh, the Trust has discouraged uh, the wearing of ties in the hospital um, because they can harbour many harmful superbugs. So we have really uh, ran with that idea. Yeah, I suppose we have, really. And uh, initially, after dropping the ties and the shirts, we uh, moved on to the trousers. Um, and actually, this week, we're experimenting with thongs which um, we find practical. Mm, absolutely. You see, the, the band here means that you can apply your, your, your pens, your badges... Uh, Gloves, yeah. and a watch as well. So A utility belt, mm. if you will. Mm. So, uh, could you tell us a bit about... Is this a popular approach on the ward? The reactions have been mixed, mm. but the, you know, the male nurses are really liking it, so swings around about Excellent. And uh, has, has the uptake to the idea been good? Uh, well, we are now pleased to announce that, that every doctor on this ward has now adhered to the dress code, mm. which we are very pleased mm. about. Mm. Excellent. And uh, what would you say was the best aspect of this new strategy? Mm, right, good question there. Um, I suppose the fact that we are fully exposed um, allows us to, you know, apply alcohol gel to the entire body, and uh, for those hard to reach places, I often get Dr Jackson to help me out. So. Yeah, which I'm willing to do. Um, you see, I'm able to get to the, uh, the nuts and crannies, the entire body, so I can apply alcohol gel to the upper and lower back, the buttocks, and the perineum. Okay? Mm. So a total sort of de debugging, really. And we actually have a uh, slogan. Um, Absolutely. Um, I rub your back. If uh, you'll rub my S5 dermatome. Right. Excellent. Very, very catchy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hear your consultant has been a big supporter of this tactic. Mm, well, yes. Dr. Kellen. Yes. Dr. Uh, Barry, Barry Kellen. Kellen. Yeah, actually, um, I've just paged him. He should be... Uh, should uh, be great to talk to him. Hi, guys. Ah, it's come from the gynae ward, actually. Oh, health promotion. Big fan of that here at the Royal Sussex County. BBC. Yes, uh, yes so this is uh, BBC News. I wonder if you could tell us a bit about the new approach uh, to combating this disease and how it's been implemented. The, the thong approach. Oh, yeah, my idea. I came up with it. I implemented it. Even bought the thongs myself. Um, but it's working really well, um, both on this ward and we're hoping to spread it over to other hospitals and other wards. All oh, right, cheers. So it's going well. Thanks Good. A lot. And um, I suppose the most important question here is what effect has this had on MRSA mm. rates? Mm. Well, mm. Trust. it's a limited time scale in which we've been sort of trialling this um, method, but I'd say the differences are negligible yet sizable, mm. which you don't understand with no medical training, but it's a good thing, basically. Mm. 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 Right, excellent. And uh, if in the future it turns out that this isn't working. Do you have any other strategies? Yeah, we've got other ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually, um, forefront of our list is a biosynthetic polymer, which um, which we. Oh uh, yeah, is that so? How does that work exactly? Well, it's actually just one of these babies, and basically, bang, and the dirt is gone. Mm. <laughs> you love that one, Barry, don't you? Isn't that just sill it bang to the layman? Yeah. But basically, I'm not sure. It's working really well. Um, every patient that we've applied this to, none of the deaths have been due to MRSA. So, 100% success rate there. Nozzle included. As well. Excellent. Very impressive. Thank you for talking to us. Mm. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, that's all from me at the Royal Sussex County Hospital. This is Robert Glass reporting for BBC South Today. Back to the studio.